Well, the always entertaining X Games begin today in Aspen, but efforts to prepare for the thousands of people showing up began months ago. Matt Croshell in our Mountain Newsroom takes us behind the scenes into the command center set up to handle the worst case scenarios. Thousands of spectators are starting to show up for the X Games in Aspen this weekend. And behind the scenes, a small but dedicated group of first responders are working to make sure everyone stays safe. We'll have two ambulances. And We're kind of the doomsday group, right? We're always thinking of worst case scenario. In a conference room across the road from the half pipe, there's a buzz. There's a huge machine behind this event that assures that the, the public as they come here are going to be safe. Emergency managers spent the entire year leading up to this weekend planning for the worst. A tough, uh, tough area to work with. Um, obviously a lot of complexities. There's snow, walking on snow, structures on snow. As this small community hosts the extreme athletes and the fans they bring with them. You can't put a dollar amount on it, right? We want to make sure that everyone's safe at all times and enjoy it. And it's not just local police and fire crews. Statewide agencies showing up to lend a hand. Federal counterterrorism agents are here too, all working together to keep the X Games running smoothly. You know, one of the biggest impacts to a small community is, of course, we all have these small agencies, you know, within that community. So when you, uh, you know, when we have a big event, we have to bring everybody together. The behind-the-scenes team, the unsung heroes of the X Games. If we kind of like being in the shadows, we like knowing. That, uh, that the safety that we're putting on, you know, it, it, you know, the safety aspects of this event are, are somewhat hidden. Emergency managers tell us that during this weekend's event alone, their teams will log more than 4,000 man hours working the X Games. Reporting in Aspen, I'm Matt Kroschel, covering Colorado First.